The Unseated Voices of the Land exhibit was something that was led by architect Douglas Cardinal, who's a Blackfoot Métis, and he's from Alberta, and actually his career had started in Edmonton in this area. He worked with 18 Indigenous uh, architects and designers uh, from all across North America. Well, it's a, uh, a visual extravaganza. There's a, a number of videos and uh, presentations, uh, multimedia presentations, and it really is a fluid movement, I would think, from one story to another. And I think if you get to the core of the presentation, it really is about story and how story links uh, people to people, links people to place, and links people to spirit. My name is Lorraine Bodnarik, and I am the co-owner of the Penn Dennis Hotel Development. Well, we really do hope that the unseated exhibit is um, a foundation for many other opportunities, visual presentations, art exhibits. I guess our hope is to just showcase or use the building as a platform or the backdrop for something really educational, really inspiring for Edmontonians, for people across Canada. We do believe it will be hugely educational and we hope that that reaches you know, school age kids, city leaders, all kinds of individuals in the city and we think it'll be phenomenal and fantastic. Well I hope first and foremost they learn um, more about the history of the Indigenous people because we are on Treaty 6 lands. I hope they learn more about the relationship building that needs to happen. I hope that they are educated and entertained at the same time and see the beauty that connects the, the past with the present and the future. And I just hope they tell other people about it and want to come back. Mm -hmm.